A mentor of mine once told me that the value of, of any one piece of, of education or any uh, piece of knowledge will probably diminish over time, but the value of the relationships gained through uh, a person's career definitely expand over time. I think the best career advice I ever received was to really focus on the job you want to have rather than the job that you have today. So really thinking beyond just the day to day right now, but one year, five years, 10 years down the line, where do you want to be? Do you want your boss's job and how would you get there? I would say just to be patient, to slow it down a little bit, that it isn't that careers don't, you don't move in your career the same way that you do uh, when you, when, you, when you pass classes and go through finals and then get a grade. Uh, a lot of times it takes multiple years. That's been one of the things that mentors have, have really helped me with over time, telling me that you know, things work out over the long term, that it's a marathon and not a sprint. And I think that's, uh, that's really helped me. Well, I didn't focus on being a credit analyst per se, but I've always been interested in financial analysis. I studied economics and international business with a focus on transportation in school. And so this was a great opportunity to kind of marry all those things together. I started out in the investment banking side, focusing on transportation infrastructure, and then I moved to Fitch, where I now work in the Global Infrastructure Group. Um, I just enjoy working with the data, seeing what the trends are, seeing how an individual issuer can fit into the broader space of um, a particular sector, mixing that together with sort of the macroeconomic trends that are going on just in the broader economy. So it's a great place to mix those things together. Well, I sort of stumbled into the role more as a recognition that I didn't want to be an investment banker or a stockbroker. Um, you know, some people are perpetually optimistic and kind of believe everything they hear. Uh, I'm really more, a little more skeptical. I like to make sure that what people are telling me is actually true. Um, you know, at Fitch, we're, we're identifying risks and trying to qualify and quantify those risks. It's actually a very good fit with, with what I like to do. Uh, you can also be an independent thinker. It's, you're, it's okay to have a contrarian view. Investors appreciate non-consensus opinions uh, so long as they're actually uh, right uh, consistently. And that's what makes the job uh, really exciting. I think it's very helpful to find a mentor at any stage in your career. There are going to be elements of the job that you just don't anticipate. Um, and having someone who's walked in your shoes before and who can help you navigate sort of the internal uh, landscape of a company can be very, very helpful. Careers are very complex. There's a lot of moving parts in a person's career. Um, a, a mentor can provide an independent view and an experienced independent view of the options that a person may have in front of them. And a lot of times their experience, uh, it can be extremely valuable in keeping a person from making a mistake. Uh, and usually the stakes are pretty high in your career. If you make a mistake, sometimes it can cost you several years before you get back to where you might have been if you had stayed in the, in the same place where you were working. Having a mentor is also a two-way street. So it's very important that as a mentee, that you bring something of value to the, um, to the relationship. You're very conscious of the, of the mentor's time. You're appreciative of their time and that you ultimately go out and do things that makes the mentor proud to be spending time with you. So nobody wants to be the mentor of the laziest person in the company. My manager has been so supportive uh, since I've been at Fitch, but in particular, he's really pushed me to um, you know, broaden my ex exposure in the sector. So not just presenting in committee and just doing the analytical work, but really getting out there and uh, participating in industry events and uh, representing Fitch uh, for the port sector. So that's been something where he's really been behind me, getting me um, speech training, going through my presentations, making sure uh, you know, that I'm covering things the way that they need to be covered and just giving me helpful points along the way.